hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by thank you for the love for the support i really appreciate you guys so today i'm not making any dress i'm just here to show you different types of tool so i'm going to start with this one that i'm always using and then if you're interested in if you're interested in the tool I will be dropping link in the description box so if you have been watching my videos you'll be familiar with this tool I'm always using it this one is like 12 inches why am I always using this one is because it gives you that volume that you need for ball gown you know without using hard net that's why I love this tool gives you that volume so this tool it stretches only one way and when it stretches it bounces back when you stretch it like this, it will bounce back but it doesn't stretch this way that much it stretches just a little bit you know and it bounces back so that tells you that this one is a good tool you know it will give you that volume and when you wash it it might not just fall it won't just fall when you wash it because you can see and you can also use it um as yoke for the upper part of your cloth because it's very nice on the skin you know that's why i love this one very well you can buy it in different colors this is the red it's on aliexpress you get it to buy on aliexpress you can see stretches when you stretch it will bounce back so that's a good tool to use for your ball gown and you get the volume that you are looking for in your ball gown without hard net so these two i will recommend it for you the only thing is if you want to sew a long ball gown you can't use this one you can only use it like if you want to step it like two steps or three steps for a long gown but say for a long gown you can't use this one you can see the length it will only look, work for a baby or I don't know if it will work for a child of one year, but it work for babies to sew a, um, a long gown from their shoulder to the floor length. It will work for babies, but it won't work for a child of two, three, four. No, the length is short, you can see. And this is the shorter version of it. This one is six inches. I like using this one in case I want to do all those like pleats, like design on the um, body of the ball gown. This one comes in very handy. I don't have to start cutting. So that's for this one. I will leave the link in the description box. It's from AliExpress. So now we have this one too. This one is a soft tool. This is the tool that is common in Nigeria. Like you use it for blouse or your gown. Like if you want to combine it, they use this tool a lot. You can actually use this tool for ball gown too. And this tool does not, because it doesn't even have weight. So I will not tell you that this tool, when you wash it, it will fall. No. Why? Because it doesn't even have weight. Like it has fallen already. That's what I mean. So this tool, you can use it for ball gown. But you need to gather a lot and you need to gather your lining a lot for you to get the volume. And it will not stand. If you want that one that will stand, this tool can't give you that. This tool is perfect for those type of foreign tutu skirts. You know those tutu skirts that are not bulky like the last tutu skirt I made, the red one. This is the perfect tool for it. So this is like the, the same tool, but just that this one comes with um, design on it. It comes with a love design on it. You can see they are very soft. And it will stand the test of time. It will last. It's just that it will not give you that standing effect that you are looking for. No, it can't give you. But it will stand the test of time. And if you want the volume, you have to gather a lot. And you have to gather a lot of lining to give you that puffiness. Even when you gather it, it won't stand out like this. It will fall. Like, but it will be full low, but it will fall down. That's how this tool is. This tool I recommend it for those tutu skirt that you put fancy elastic band. It's fine. Comes out like as if you bought the skirt from an already made shop. This is the perfect tool for those type of tutu skirts. Next one is this very stretchy tool. 
This one, you don't use it for ball gown at all. This skin tone too. This one is not for ball gown. This one is to combine the upper part of your ball gown or your dress or to make sleeve. This one is not for tutu at all. You can see, very stretchy. This one more like body corn. It's more like a body corn tool. And I bought this one from my local shop here. So, but the, this one I just showed to you guys. This one, I'll leave the link. I bought it from AliExpress. I'll leave the link in the description box too. It's very so good for tutu skin. We have this too. You can see this one is like glittery too. This too is perfect for ball gown. But I bought this one in my local shop here. So it stretches, you can see. If you want to know a good tool, when you stretch it, it will bounce back. Like if you stretch your tool and it remains in that place. If you wash that too, it will fall. This one stretches and it will bounce back to how it was. And also, if you want to also know, like, you can just use your hand to do it like this. If you are more interested in the puffiness, you can see the way it's standing. Just know that this one, without hard nets, without too many lining, this one will give you that bulkiness that you are looking for. This tool is good for ball gown. So I also have this one here. This one is the type I used for the crinoline, line, that yellow crinoline line I did. This is the pink of it. So this tool, it will give you the bulkiness, but it will not last. This one, when you stretch it, it doesn't bounce back. If you wash this tool, it will fall. But for the first time, first use, you will love it. But even after the child wears it, Maybe the child wears it for like six hours a day to play around. You will see this tool falling. Like this is the type of tool I used for the tutu skirt, the ribbon trim, double tutu skirt, the double ribbon trim, the one that was um, dark pink. This was the tool I used. And I found out that that day, before the end of the day, my daughter's tutu skirt was already falling. So this too, I would not recommend it. Like if you want to be wearing the cloth like for a very long time, I would not recommend this too. This too, it comes at 60 inches length and then they sell it 10 yards, 60 inches, 10 yards on AliExpress. I will leave the link, but I will not recommend it too. But if it's just for birthday celebration, just for that day, I will recommend this to you get what you want without buying too many things. You don't even need hard nets for this one. You get that puffiness, but it will not stand. You can see when you stretch, it doesn't bounce back. It doesn't bounce back. It's not a good tool. So this flurry tool I got off AliExpress too. This is a tube that looks just like organza. I know maybe like if I do a video with it and I'm like, oh, this tool. Some people like. Send me a message, but it looks like organza. It's actually tool. If you look at it, you see the hole. So this tool, I bought it from AliExpress, and you can see I was making a video with it, a tutorial video with post sleeve, and this tool began to rip. So most times with tool, it's just luck. This tool would have given me that puffiness that i'm looking for unfortunately let me just show you you can see this this is what i i, I experienced this is it i couldn't finish the video i just gathered the fabric and tied it in one place because it was doing like that i'm like okay let me double it i can you can see i double the but still yet see i show you look look i double it there's one inside it's a very bad tool. I reached out to the seller and it was like, I should open up disputes. It is the same seller I bought this one from. This one that I say, it will give you the puffiness, but it will fall. It too will fall. It's from the same seller. When you stretch this tool, like if you go to the market and you stretch your tool and it doesn't bounce back, don't buy it. It will not last. It will give you your puffiness. That is, look at it. Don't buy the soft one. If you are looking for 
puffiness don't buy this soft one this one that is just falling this one is for combining blouse but this one is for those foreign to those tutu with fancy bar and band this this type of tool is good you can even see the difference you can see it when you hold this one see this one is shaking sort of like standing but this one um, it will not last too it will fall it will fall after some time so I bought it from the same seller that I bought this one. I will still leave the link for this one, but I'm not advised to buy it. Unfortunately, I bought it in different colors. I bought the red, I bought um, the blue, so and this pink, and I couldn't return it because before I decided to do the tutorial, the, the tool has already stayed with me for some time, you know, but this is what I found. Like, maybe the fabric is expired. I don't know. See? So this too is not good, but I will leave the link in AliExpress from the same seller I bought this too. So I have this one. This one is very nice. My sister helped me get it in Nigeria. See, this too is stretchy. Like, you can see it yourself. It's stretchy. This one will give you puffiness. And this one will not fall. It will give you puffiness. The problem with all this type of tool, when they buy from me from Nigeria, for you to cut it you can see like i already tied it here for you to cut it it's not like these ones that come from aliexpress they are already folded they are easy for you to cut but it's good this type of tool if you go to the market and you see this type of tool it's good it will give you the puffing and you can see it now it's going back when you bounce it it will go back and it's stretchy it's stretchy it will go back we give you your volume and it will last unlike that other pink i just showed you and then i have this too this one is normally used as um on the, they normally use it for like underneath the ground but it's not the hard knit it's like between hard and soft it won't scratch your skin it won't scratch your skin but if you look at it the holes are big you can't you can't use this type of tool to combine the up of your blouse so this tool will give you puffiness this is the tool i used for the red gown that i made like a year ago on my channel this is the net i used so it will give you your puffiness it doesn't fall but for me i feel like this tool should be underneath underneath this type of tool like maybe the layer before this type of tool because of the hole is wide it's not small so that's why i feel like this is not the perfect tool for outside your ball gown it's good for inside and this tool you can see it still stretches and bounces back so this tool is good for ruffles when you do ruffles it's very good i use it for ruffles on sleeve for some women blouses and it comes out well so, but I buy it from my local shop here. You can see it. It's not strong, but it's between medium. It's in between your strong tool and your soft tool. But I don't feel it's good for outside of the ball gown. I feel like it's supposed to be a layer before the last layer of your ball gown. You know, but you can get away with it because I got away with it using it. And it came out very nice, you know. So now I have all these ones here today. All these ones I got all these ones from Alexis. All these are soft too. You can see them, they're just like clothes, they're just like lace. These ones they are not for ball gown, they are for ball gown that you don't want to stand. You don't want ball gown to stand. And uh -huh. just use this one. This one is okay. This one is good for combining blouses too. And this one is good for Maybe like A-line dress, then you want to add like ruffles that will not stand at the bottom. These ones are perfect for those type of ball gown, you know. And these ones are perfect for those easy ball gown that you will just see. You say this gown did not just stand, you know. You know those party gown that we stand. Mm -mm, this one is not for it. This one for simple, simple ball gown. That's this one here too. And they are good for tutu skates, like tutu skates that have fancy band. This type of tool, they are good for it. This one I also got from AliExpress, and honestly, I have been looking for the link 
where I bought this to. I bought this to about maybe three, four years ago. And I cannot find the link to the shop on AliExpress. This tool is perfect for ball gown, wedding dresses. This tool is the best. Look, look, see. See now, it will just stay where it is. Like once you stretch it, it will bounce, but it will stay there. When you gather it, you get that volume. And it's not really that soft too, but it won't choke the child. It won't hurt the child. It's good on the skin. It's, this, I don't even know, like I've been looking for it on Aliexpress where I bought this particular one for. I know some people will not use this one as ball gown, for ball gown. They will use it as an uh, underlayer, but it's perfect for ball gown. It will give you the volume. It will not fall. It will stretch. It will go back to its original state. And it doesn't stretch too much. It doesn't stretch too much. You just stretch a little bit. I think this one is veil net. I think this is veil net. So, but it's, this one is perfect for. Unfortunately, I can't find the link. I'll try and find it so that I can put it in the description box of this video. But I think when I bought it from the shop, it came in only white, you know. So, I'll search for it and put it in the description box. So now, this one is organza. So, but some people will think it's net. But this is organza. I bought this one from my local shop here and I used it to make dress for my daughter her fourth birthday. Unfortunately, I haven't started YouTube then when I made this dress. You can see it's it's a long gown with two layers of the organza. So organza is that fabric that will give you your puffiness. But maybe because it's shining, people don't really like it. But there are some organza that don't shine too much. You can see this one. It it looks like two. It doesn't even look like organza. Look, it doesn't even look like organza. I'll, I'll draw. I'll be inserting the picture of when she wore this dress. But for it to have that volume, you can see like I made like. Uh, petticoat under and attached it to you can see how many layers it, it has it has this layer of net this one is almost like the red one i showed to you guys just now yeah this one is almost like this one it's just that this one is a little bit harder than this one yeah so this is the layer under the um satin this is the satin that's after the two layers of organza i have this one then i have another layer now this layer i cut i most times i cut i like to cut them um, straight and gather it but this layer i cut as a flared and i pleated this type of tool on top of it and then after that i have another layer underneath it which i did like ruffles under you know see i gathered it and did ruffles so that's it. If you want your ball gown, especially for long ball gowns, if you want it to really like be puffy, you have to layer it. You can see how many layers this dress has. Just for it to have that um, puffiness, you can see how many layers it has. And I added crinoline to the bottom. It has crinoline underneath it. You know, this is exactly the same organza I use in making the frozen tutu skirt on my channel. Exactly the same, but I bought it from my local shop here. Yeah, so organza is very nice for you to have a nice ball gown. Also, I would like to add like if you want your ball gown to be puffy, avoid cutting your tool as flayed. Yes, avoid it. Cut it straight and gather it. That way you get more volume. And then instead of just cutting 10 yards straight and just gather it on one line, I would advise you to cut it instead of that 10 yards straight, divide it into two five five yards and put it on top of each other. If you always watch my video, you will know that that's what I always do. Put five yards on top of another five yards and gather it. You will get your volume better. That's the trick for me. That's what I feel gives your ball gun more volume. Avoid flay. 
if you cut flay, it will it will be wide. Like when the child stands, it's going to be I don't know how to explain it. Like, but it, it's gonna be wide, like flay cut kind of. But it, if you want that puffiness from the waist, you won't really have it except you have enough enough tool to play around with. So avoid cutting flay and cut straight. Cut your tool straight and gather it. Gathers is what will give you that puffiness. Also, don't use this type of tool with crinoline lines for crinoline line ball gown. No, it's not nice. You won't get your result. You cannot result. You won't. You won't get it. Rather, use this type. This one that I say it can fall. It will give you. You can see that yellow crinoline line I did. It gave me that effect that I'm looking for. This one will give you the same thing. This one will give you that twist effect in your crinoline puffiness. It will give it to you, but not this soft one. This soft one for tutu skirt or for simple ball gown. That's what you can use this one for. You want to buy to stretch it and make sure it, it, it comes back. Make sure it comes back. And then if it, if they allow you, just try and do it like this, like try and put it together. If you see that it's standing, just know that it's good. Just that if you buy from Nigeria market, most time the tool is squeezed. You can see this AliExpress soon well ironed. You don't even need to do anything, just cut your tool and use it. You don't need to iron it, you know. And I will not even advise you to be ironing too. Although I used to iron all these ones and they are okay. They, 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 it doesn't get burnt like you have to use. You don't have to set your iron to be very hot. So I iron it and I use it because if you use it like this to make ball gown, the gown, uh, see, it's squeezed. So guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!